Get your man Wooks official. Hey, look at that. Best running back in the league. No, I'm just playing, guys. Unfortunately, this man, Saquon, he's out. And the Giants are playing like some hot garbage. I don't know what's up with them. Yo, son, you know exactly what it is. It's Daniel Jones. I don't know whose nephew this is. Daniel Jones? Whose nephew is that? That dude is hot garbage, bro. We're paying him 40. You're, the Giants are paying him 40 million a year. <laughs> I'm actually a Giants fan, but the Giants are something. They're ass. Let's be honest. That's all I'm going to say. But we're talking about cars in this video. So before we get to this video, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification too, it notifies you about all posts. Now guys, before we get to the video, I do want to tell you guys something that I think is important because I see a lot of people in the mountains, they don't, they don't do this. Don't ride up on somebody's bumper. Now if you watch this video, you see I'm leaving good space on the STI. Now when I do get up on him, it's in the corner when he's already pretty much about to accelerate out of the corner. So I'm not really on him like that. But... The reason why you want to leave space for these cars, it's really for you to react, to be honest, because you never know what could happen. And literally that day in this video, it's not caught on video, but during this ride through the mountains, one of the guys crashed. He went off the mountain. His car got stuck between two trees. Thankfully, he didn't go off the mountain. He's good. He's probably beat up and hurt a little bit, but his car is not good. But we don't care about that. We care about the person. He's good. Thank God for that. So the reason why you leave a good space when you're in the mountains is to give yourself time to react. You never know what could happen. Just like somebody crashed, the Subaru had to hit on the brakes. I had to get on my brakes also, but thankfully I didn't rear end him. I didn't come close at all to rear ending him because we left space, guys. So it's cool to record videos when you're up on somebody's bumper, but really, guys, that's not realistic and that's not smart to do at all. It's cool for the video, but it's not really smart to do, so I don't do that. And that's why I wanted to give you guys a tip of that because I see a lot of people doing that. I know this one group, I'm not going to call them out, but I know this one group does that when they go to the mountains. And unfortunately, they've had somebody go off the freaking mountain and they don't post that information. Guys, that's not cool at all. You got to you gotta own up to what you do sometimes. And if you're hosting events and your people are acting wild, you got to give people a warning. Every single time I host a mountain run, guys, we're going we're gonna to have a driver's meeting every time. And I want to make sure you guys know how to drive before we hit the track <laughs> or not the track before we hit the mountain. Now, some of us may act like it's a track, but it's not. You're playing with your life out there. So take it. You got to take it serious. If you don't respect the road, it could be you. <laughs> so let's get to the video, man. Catch you on the next clip.
up, squad? If you guys made it this far in the video, hit that like button for me. And if you made it this far also, just know your man, Wolex Official, I appreciate you. What DJ Khaled say in that video? I appreciate that. Go buy your mama a house. Go oh, yeah. I'm not going to buy your mama a house. No, let me quit playing. But I appreciate you. Yo, I'll catch y'all in the next video. It's your man, Wo. I'm out. Peace. No.